Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 8. In the last video, a terrible cutscene brought us to this intro stage, so let's see what awaits us. Alright. Uh, now let's see, there is an item up here. And if you use the ball, because you can't quite reach that ladder, but if you can abuse the ball, you can do that. Um, oh, oh wow. There we go. That works. Uh, let's see. Now there's a bolt right here. And over here should be... Okay, another bolt. Uh, this one you need Clown Man's weapon to get. This is what Clown Man's weapon does. It does that. When you see little poles like that, you can do that. Now, I think right here in the Saturn version, this was the same. But... Oh, oh wow. Let's just go down. But since there were multiple, uh, well, since there was just a straightforward shot to the bolt in the other pathway, in the Saturn version, it was one of those two areas. You would actually fight Cutman for whatever reason. Uh, now, you may remember in the previous game when we went to the robot museum and Dr. Wily stole Gutsman. He broke him out of a capsule. You may remember me pointing out that there were two other broken capsules in the background, like Dr. Wily had taken two other robot masters. Well, apparently he took Cutman and somebody else. And uh, if you played the PlayStation version, you'd never know that because they don't have that optional boss. But yeah, Cutman, I mean, he, I think, in memory, as far as I know, he operates the same way. Um, he even has a remixed uh, theme, so that's pretty cool, but it's just not in the PlayStation version. Alright, um... And you guys... Now check this out. See, I didn't even have to wait for him to lower his shield. Alright, now we got a boss coming up. And I think... I don't think he has a specific weakness, but I think the bombs, the flash bombs do good. You are... Wait, who are you? Don't try to stop me from completing my mission. Yeah, I'm gonna make him sound a lot more awesome than he really does in this game. Yeah. Yeah. So just hit him with the flash bomb. Yeah. Why don't I have the flash bomb equipped? There we go. He's got a cool theme. Okay. Get ready. Oh. Yeah, he likes to charge at you. Oh, wow. He doesn't have a visible health bar or anything. He's just kind of got to... Oh, Mega Man. What'd you do? I got him now. Oh, I killed him already. Or, I beat him. I feel a strong sense of justice within you. Who are you? Whoa, even in PlayStation form, I recognize that whistle. Are you okay? Proto Man! Oh, he escaped. What happened? Well, who is he? Well, I was about to find out, and then you distracted him, me, and then he escaped, so thanks, Proto Man. Bud, bro, I don't know. That robot was holding back. He didn't fight me with everything he had. I wonder why. He might be connected to Dr. Wily. What? Wily Tower is just ahead from here. That's the name of Wily's new castle. That robot may be going there. Maybe. I'll be careful. Thanks, Proto Man. And Proto Man's too cool to say you're welcome or no problem, bro, or anything like that. I got you back, little bro. Nah, he just, he's not gonna say anything. Whatever. Ah! That must be it over there!
you'd make a good spawn, Mega Man! However, I don't have time to deal with you! Say goodnight! <laughs> I gave to Dr. Light. Yes. This is what you people call evil energy. Based on my study so far, the one who obtained the original energy must be a being of complete evil. This type of energy absorbs the evil in a person's mind and then multiplies. Judging by the quick rate of its growth, it'll take over the planet with evil energy in a matter of days. We must stop it. I sense the original energy exists in that tower. But... <laughs> the barrier prohibits me from going there. I'll destroy the rest of the evil energy that has spread throughout the Earth. You search and destroy the energy sources for that barrier. Let's do it! Time to go, right? And now... Well, that cutscene was even worse than the previous one, but okay. <laughs> so, okay, but at least we know his name now, Duo. But now we got uh, four new Robot Masters, so yeah, of course, you're gonna have your eight. If you want to go back to the intro mid-stage, just hit that right there. Uh, let's see if new items have been added to the shop. Oh, I have to go here. Let's go back to the first. Yeah. Oh, look at that cutscene was bad. Welcome back! And I swear, Dr. Wily sounds like he's on meth. And that was, in fact, the voice of, um... Uh, uh, Grenade Man, if you couldn't tell. Oh, see, now we got new items. Uh, this will save the <clears throat> energy saver. Will save the exact amount of energy required for a special weapon. Uh, I guess it cuts down on how much energy you use on a special weapon. That's cool. Increases the amount of energy your weapon energy you recover. Okay. Spare bodies will be refilled automatically when you exit from a stage. I thought that happens in any way. Sliding will speed up. I don't need that. It shortens the time for the charge shot. Three Mega Busters will be fired each time you press the shot button. The Mega Buster will speed up. When you obtain life energy, when your life bar is full, it will be converted to weapon energy. That's interesting. Well, really all I need is the uh, charge shot. Um, or the lower the charge shot. So we'll get that. Yeah, sadly, the energy equalizer, which, you know, it will um, refill what is filled the least, isn't too useful in this game, since all your weapons are refilled pretty much when you sneeze, so, I mean, you know, but the, the up, shorten the time in the charge shot, everybody says that's amazing, uh, I don't always find it terribly useful, I don't always notice a difference, but whatever. We'll take it, because it's, I was about to say because it's free, it's not free, but we'll take it anyway. That's really all the only two items I really buy from the shop. All the other stuff is just worthless. Alright, we'll take on our next couple robot masters in the next or our next robot master in the next video. Until then, 480 volts.